Okay, I'm at my campsite. I'm set up, I believe. This is where I'm at. It may not look familiar to you, but I have camped here before. There's a video of snow camping. This was all covered in snow. I parked over here. There was a fire ring here. It is now moved over there. This is the first time I'm using the walls for my awning. It really wasn't hard to set up. A lot of stakes though. <laughs> uh, but it really wasn't hard. I'm interested to see that, check that door, see how that is. These can roll up, so you can roll up each individual side if you choose. I'm trying this for now because I have my fire pit in here so I know it might be a little dark and the sound might be weird because there's a little echo chamber in here so I can just sit in here I don't care how cold it gets outside it's supposed to be into the probably the mid teens maybe low 20s tonight but something tells me I'm going to be very toasty now I have to be very careful with this um, obviously uh, I don't want to melt this so I'm gonna to have to be very careful I might actually move it a little bit farther over and I will keep it on uh, very low and we'll see how it goes I'll, I'll test this out and make sure that that doesn't feel like it's gonna melt now I could open this door and see how that's gonna work uh, but we'll see how it goes. I'm very curious. Now, it's not that going to be that cold tonight. I'll be very curious when it's going to be down into the single digits or below zero. How this works out. Uh, this is not hard to set up. And I have my lights up here. So I have light in here. Because it was really dark before I turned those on. And so I'm very excited about this and this may be my new system i could if it gets totally warm in here i could sleep in here put a cot out and just sleep in here so we'll see i'm gonna i'm curious to see how warm this gets obviously the heat can escape over there and over here and uh but what are you gonna do but mostly i think the heat's just gonna kind of hover around here Yeehaw! It's exactly what I wanted. It's snowing. Just got done flying the drone. And stupid D DJI. Uh, I haven't logged into my account recently from my phone. So, what does this do? It limits my height and my distance from me. Stupid. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I can't log into my account. <sighs> Freaking... Why don't these people think? <laughs> Anyways, enough bitching. Although I am the grumpy gobbler, so I should probably be grumpy. Here's my campsite. I'm glad I put my awning because it's nice under there. I already got some snow on here. Take a little walk around my campsite. There's my little entryway to get in there. Awesome. I love camping in the snow. It's so beautiful. Anyhow. See, totally nice here. You can see a little bit of snow blown in here, but other than that, totally nice in here. I have the windows down, so when I start the fireplace, the heat should go in there. I'm totally protected. No snow is getting in here. It's blowing the right way. This is a good spot for uh, typically the snow is blowing this way, and so it's nice and protected. 
even if I didn't have the awning up, this would be relatively protected. Although with the awning up, it's perfect. I just thought I'd check in and uh, show you the snow. Let me see what the temperature is. It doesn't feel all that cold. I'm actually a little surprised it's snowing. It's, uh, probably can't see that. 33 outside. The temp outside temperature sensor is on my roof of the Forerunner. Inside is actually wherever this is, and it's 45. So it's not terribly cold. Oh, the snow's dying out. And it's, uh, the sun's trying to creep out. But it's nice to have a little layer of white, even though it's a millimeter thick. <laughs> Just saw a cool International Scout go by. I've seen a couple people go up, farther up. And uh, hopefully they don't slide off the trail. I know a couple weeks ago, somebody came up here and slid off the trail and had to be recovered. So hopefully that doesn't happen to them. Beautiful. All right, I will check in a bit later. Thought I'd check in again, because it just got done snowing. Now the sun's out. Nice little one millimeter layer of snow. <laughs> but it's beautiful with the sun coming out. I'm hoping sometime this season I can camp where it snows at night, maybe six inches or so, six to a foot, so I don't get stuck trying to get out. And then it's sunny the next morning. I love fresh snow. The snow is melting off the awning, or off the, excuse me, the walls. Anywho, just thought I'd check in and show the well, scenery real quick. Now, uh, back to sitting on my keister. I think I'll have another beer. What do you think? I think it's a grand idea. Uh, it is about four o'clock and I want to give you an update on my little setup here while I'm lazy and I don't want to, I don't like setting up the walls just cause I'm lazy and it's not hard. Um, it's the stakes. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight stakes. Uh, I'm just lazy. It's easy. So if you have this OVS 180, do yourself a favor and get the walls. It's not cheap. It's 360 bucks or something like that. Uh, but it's nice to have the walls during the, if you camp during the winter. Because this is a nice little setup. And to give you an idea of the temperature in here versus outside. I don't know if you can see that. But it's 30 degrees outside. And 50 deg 52 degrees in here. So it's a nice place to hang out while you don't get a view or anything. It's nice to be in a nice warm area. Uh, relaxing. So I'm just sitting here relaxing, listening to music, enjoying myself. Um, three beers in and I'm sure there's going to be many, many more. So, And this is again another reason to have the gas fire pit. I would not have a wood fire in here the gas fire I can raise and lower the flame height and check in the walls and the roof they're not they're not hot so I have no fear of this melting uh, it's just nice and toasty in here I have my little light on sorry if that's bright just a nice little place to hang out, drink, relax. And I do look out and see <laughs> that narrow view. But it's something, and I'm out camping, so uh, I'm enjoying it. 
like I said, if you have a OVS or any awning, get walls if you're going to camp during the winter. And uh, it's it's worth it. It's worth the effort of putting this up and being able to sit in here nice and warm and drinking and relaxing. There's been quite a few people going by here. I didn't see, I have saw two people camping on the way up here, but that's it. Uh, but I've seen quite a few, few people going back and forth. I don't know if they're camping farther up. I know it gets slick farther up. That's why I stopped here. Uh, this is easy. I'm by myself. I don't have to worry about anything. I'm not going to slide off the trail. This is all flat. Um, so I have no fear, even if there was a foot of snow on the ground. Uh, even maybe a little bit more. I know I could get out. And it, so that's why I stop here. Because I really don't care. So even if we had a crazy snowstorm tonight, I know I can get out. And that's it. So I'm going to go back to relaxing and enjoying myself and probably in another hour or so I'll make dinner because I just had snacks for lunch I am a little hungry I'm actually hungry right now and thought about cooking dinner now but it's a little bit early at four o'clock so I'm old but you know I'm not ready for the silver hair uh, 4 30 Denny special so there you go check in later Just got done with dinner. It was awesome. Might be a little bit of an echo because of the walls on here, I guess. Now I'm going to sit here and enjoy uh, the rest of my beer. Maybe one more. And then I'm going to go to bed and watch a movie. It is so comfortable in here. These walls are fantastic. Uh, I can't recommend them enough. It's, it's just awesome in here. It's, uh, let me see what the temperature is. It's 30 degrees outside, so it's actually warmed up a little bit. Um, so it's not really terribly cold outside. 30 degrees isn't bad. I can live with that. But it's... In, inside the Forerunner, it's 48. And uh, so that's totally comfortable. So it's got to be probably higher out here. And uh, this is just plain awesome. Nice way to camp. I really am enjoying this new setup. I, I like the lights over here. Light up this area. Having the walls on here with the awning and the fire in here, and this is awesome. I can hear it kind of uh, frozen snow, really, or frozen rain, whatever you want to call it. I can hear it hitting the awning right now, and uh, the ground is all white outside, so I know it's spitting snow, freezing rain, whatever. But it's totally toasty in here, awesome. And listening to music, this is... This is why I camp. This is exactly why I camp. It's nice to be out here, really away from technology, even though I'm I'm listening to music, not playing on Facebook or anything like that, or YouTube. And uh, just enduring the peace and serenity. And I love this. This is this is why I do this. And if you if you don't camp, if you're watching this because you vicariously live through other people, you probably watch other videos of people overlanding. This is an overlanding. This is just camping. You should get out there. And it doesn't take much. I said just saw a Subaru earlier today going down the road. It doesn't take much of a vehicle. All-wheel drive, four-wheel drive is is enough in the winter. In the summer, you can darn near do anything. 
you should really get out there and enjoy nature enjoy the serenity and be away from the news and all the negative stuff on the internet and this is that's again another reason i come out here is to be away from the internet and all the negativity um it's draining and i'm sure it's draining to a lot of people and the more you watch it the more you feel kind of negative inside and and the world is a much better place it's not as bad as the media portrays or facebook portrays it's a lot more positive people and good people out there and you should get out here and and step away and disconnect and enjoy this this might be the beer talking but whatever usually the truth comes out i think the more you drink and uh this is awesome get out here don't litter respect the respect nature but get out here uh even if you have a two-wheel drive vehicle you probably can't really do much during the winter but get out and enjoy this and enjoy nature enjoy the disconnecting well, good morning it is let's see probably can't see that but it's 17 degrees outside uh, it was actually 15 when I woke up this morning and it was 32 degrees inside the forerunner but I've ran the I remote started uh, twice and now it's 47 degrees inside so you can see what that remote start does for you to take the edge off in the morning and uh, so I came out here started a fire and let's go take a look out here see what the morning looks like nice and clear And beautiful, of course. I slept uh, pretty well. Actually, I, I don't know what time I went into bed. Uh, but I had been drinking a bit. And probably went to bed. <laughs> probably got into bed at about 6. 6 to 7, probably around there. And uh, started to watch a movie. But I was so tired. I watched a movie started the movie 1917 and maybe got 10 minutes in and just couldn't stay awake so I turned the movie off fell asleep woke up in the middle of the night and I thought it was near morning and looked at the clock it was not even midnight yet <laughs> so I actually just watched the rest of 1917 and then went back to sleep slept pretty good I woke up a few times but wasn't bad it was uh comfortable inside the forerunner it wasn't cold at that time it was uh probably in the high 30s inside maybe low 40s inside the forerunner and uh i don't know if i said this already but it's about seven o'clock in the morning sun should be popping up here soon and then that'll warm things up so I'm gonna make my coffee and uh, relax for a little bit and then probably start breaking down camp we'll see how I feel I can hear this windy this is another good thing about this site I don't know if you can see the trees up there moving but it's windy, but I don't really feel it where I'm standing. But I can hear it. The spot is pretty nice for this. I've already done my morning constitutional. I don't know why they call it that, but it was nice. Set that up right by the fireplace or fire pit. Uh, 
to do my business. So that was nice. Anywho, I'm going to get to making coffee. Well, with the walls on the awning, it takes a bit longer to pack up, especially with uh, a little bit of snow and ice. I couldn't really uh, fold up the walls and get them into the bag that the walls come in. So it's just sitting in the back. I'll have to wait till I get home and fold it up there. It is beautiful this morning. Not a cloud in the sky. I'm hoping I'm gonna see a moose, but I think the odds are slim that I'm going to see one. Excuse the noise, there's a lot of stuff rattling around in here and the camera's bouncing like crazy. Hopefully it comes out smooth. We'll see. Anyways, if you made it this far, thanks for coming along. If you like this video, please give me a like. Subscribe if you desire for more stuff like this. And I think that's Gobbler out. Hopefully this is smooth, because that camera is shaking like mad. Gobbler out.